In this video I'm going to show you how you and your moderators can set your game category on Twitch with stream elements. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Just like you, I'm also a streamer on Twitch. If you want to drop by, go follow me. Link is down below in the description. Let's go to streamelements.com and log in. If you're already logged in, you can just go to your dashboard. Here on the left, we go to chatbot and chat commands. Here we're going to scroll until we see set game. You can also do control F and then type set game to find it quickly. We're going to need to make sure that this is ticked on. We're going to click on it. If you want a different command name than set game, you can change the command name right here by setting it on something else. New game. But let's just keep it on the default. The cost here are points from the stream element system people can collect. You don't want to set this on anything else than zero because people are trying to set the game and help you out. It would be weird if they have to pay for it. Right here you can set the user level to use this command. I would not recommend that everyone can use this command. People might come in and want to troll you and set the game on something you're not playing. But there is a fraction of people that you trust which are called moderators. I would allow them and yourself to be able to use this command. So right now we can set this on moderator. You can have it on everybody, subscriber, regular, VIP, moderator, super moderator or broadcaster. If you set it on moderator, everything underneath there, so super moderator and broadcasters can also use this command. So let's keep it on moderator. If you feel like too much trying to change the category at the same time, you could set user and a global cooldown. But because they're your mods, I kind of trust my mods and I don't need them to wait for a bit. So we can just set this on zero and now they don't have to wait to use this command once again. Here you can say when can they use this command. When you're online, when you're offline or when you're online and offline. I like to keep it on both because then they can set the category already if you're offline, if that would ever be necessary. Instead of changing the name, we can also give it another alias. So we can call it something else as well. Exclamation mark, new game. Now we can also use the command new game instead of only set game. If you have done this, make sure to click on save. Another important thing is to set stream elements as a moderator. We're going to our Twitch chat by going to our channel and then going to chat. And then here in the chat, we type slash mod stream elements. This makes sure that stream elements is a moderator and can help you out. To test this command, I want to set this on Super Mario Bros. So we are just chatting right now. Let's set the game, set game on Super Mario Bros. Wonders. It says that I changed the game and we see here that I changed the game here as well. If you want to set it back, we can use the other command we made, new game. New game, just chatting. And then we have changed it back to just chatting. I think this command is really useful as your mods can help you set the right game category. We do have plenty of more very useful commands. In this playlist here, I teach you more about stream elements. Everything you need to know. So let's jump into it with me. I'll see you there. Oh, you can subscribe here to not miss anything. Or subscribe here to be part of the exclusive subscribers of my gameplay channel. I'll see you there.